Hello, this is Dan Dan the Rockman, and today we are going to explore about a very cool agate. This agate that you see is called the Turritella agate and comes from the Green River Formation in Wyoming. It can also be found in northern Colorado and northeastern portions of Utah. Actually, this stone was incorrectly named because of the fossils embedded in the stone. These fossils are of a freshwater snail, not a saltwater gastropathy, as originally thought. Therefore, the proper name is Elema Tinturna. But after years of publicating the wrong name, it sticks, and the, the name most people refer to this rock is Turritella agate. The fossils are hosted in a chalcedony sedimentary rock. According to paleogeology, these fossils are approximately 50 million years old. These snails were abundant at this time, and as they died, they sank to the bottoms of the lakes and streams. Over the years, as sediment covered the shells, they became silified as brown phosphorus chalcedony agate. In looking for this stone, make sure the rock is completely agatized and does not crumble. Turritella slabs can be cut and polished into beautiful pendants, cabochons, belt buckles, and, or keep as a slab and polish and set as a display. I have cut and polished the, several pieces into cabochons as you can see in this video. I hope you can get a chance to find or purchase some of this rock and make your own jewelry and display. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to be notified for more future videos. Uh, please feel free to comment below um, and uh, tell me about if you made jewelry from these fossils. All right. Hey, have a great day and see you on our next video. Thank you. Bye.